The state government fears skilled defence workers will start deserting the state unless a firm decision is made on a $40 billion submarine contract. The federal defence minister today cast more doubt over the project by revealing he's not committed to building the 12 vessels previously promised. It was at a submarine conference in Canberra this morning that strong speculation was confirmed. Certainly it is desirable that the new submarine would be built in Australia but may I say and underline, it is not a blank cheque. $40 billion was to be spent on 12 new vessels, but now there's no such guarantee. Let me be clear on this subject. My primary focus is not about numbers, but on the capability and availability of boats required to meet the tasks set by government. The 2,500 shipyard employees won't be given a final decision until the defence white paper is released in 18 months. I would certainly argue that it is too long to wait. We need some decision making now. Otherwise it's feared we'll reach the so-called valley of death where skilled workers leave the state. I mean we're starting to head into it now. The, uh, we're about uh, at the moment the peak workforce on the air warfare destroyer project. Um, and, uh, and that will now start to decline. There may be submarines to be built in four or five or ten years' time, but in the meantime we will lose forever and a day a skilled workforce. The ideal scenario would be for 12 submarines to be completely designed and built right here in Osborne. However, today the government revealed it is very interested in overseas technology. The Japanese design is the nearest design that comes uh, towards what our requirements are. Obviously we must be talking to them and we are. The union fears local workers will end up assembling a foreign product. All they'll need is an Allen key in their toolbox because it'll be about bringing everything here and just bolt it together. Ben Avery, Nine News.